What's going on, people of the internet? Hyperchaotic here with a K, double R, and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time visiting my channel. Now, this video is a continuation of my previous video where I went over a new update from YouTube with some new additional features that are supposedly meant to help content creators grow. I am sorry if you hear a cat in the background. My roommate's cat is in heat and she is losing her fucking shit. Now in this video, I'm just going to continue to give more of my thoughts on the hype feature specifically. Now if you want to hear more about the hype feature and what I had to say personally as a small content creator, because this is a feature that's supposed to help small content creators according to YouTube. Or to hear more about the other features, link will be in the description down below for that previous video. If you want to hear about the features themselves and how they're supposed to work, link will be in the description down below to my source from the previous video. By the way, uh, I'm going to try to just stop recording and continue recording in between. Whenever this cat shuts the fuck up, I can't do anything about it. She, she's going to moan and bitch and whine because she's in the heat and there's nothing I could do about it. Her hormones are just kicking in. I, I, I really do apologize for that noise in the background. Anyway, so a quick rundown of what the hype feature is before I, I go over some of my final thoughts as a small content creator. And yeah, that'll it'll hopefully be a short video, but let's see how I turn out with this because I wouldn't be surprised if I end up going on a tangent. I already tried to record this video before and went on a whole tangent, so I'm going to try again. Now, my quick overview. So the hype feature is essentially supposed to act as a new form of engagement for videos. Supposedly, it's going to be accessible to content creators 5K subs and below. Now, I don't know if they meant it will only be available to creators 5 subs and below or it'll also be available to those creators, but it'll be available to everybody. You know, they didn't really go into more details about it or specify it. And since this feature is technically still in its beta stages, they're probably still working out the kinks and whether or not it'll only be for small content creators or for everybody. I don't see this only being for small content creators. And even if it was, I don't think it's gonna be the biggest help unless that content creator is at least at least getting up 50 to almost 100 or a couple hundred views and at the very least getting the bare minimum of let's say pff, 10 to 15 comments along with like maybe 20 or so likes depending on how many views they get and how many people want to comment with their like and the reason why I say this is because, again, it's supposed to act like engagement, like, well, liking a comment or disliking or commenting, but it's supposed to have, well, I'm not exactly sure how much. So let's just use an example here. I'm not sure if this is exactly the case, so don't quote me on this, but let's assume that a hype, we'll call it a hype has three times the power of a like and a comment combined as far as engagement goes, as far as boosting the video in the algorithm, three times the ability. Again, I don't know if that's the case, but we're just going to assume for the sake ugh, for the sake of simplicity. I don't know if I slurred or stuttered or sounded stuffy as hell. So if I repeat myself, that's why it just didn't sound right to me. Now, assuming there are no issues with this hype feature. YouTube doesn't nerf it into high hell to the point where it's no different than a like and a comment, even combined. Or if bigger channels don't somehow exploit this to high hell to the point where smaller content creators can't even really get anything out of it, which if you want to hear a little bit more about that, check out my previous video. But Essentially what I'm trying to get at is in order for this feature to even benefit any small content creators, they have to be getting some sort of engagement or notice to begin with in the first place. And 
people need to be interested enough to where they actually want to engage with the video. Now, this fucking cat. And before anybody asks, no, there's nothing her owners can do. She's just going to have to go through her heat cycle and that's it. She's not any more comfortable about, uh, comfortable about it than I am. I just wish she would shut the fuck up. You know what's funny? The part that's really annoying is it feels like she purposely starts crying more every time I speak. It probably just to get my attention. Uh, but man, it's so fucking inconvenient. It is so goddamn inconvenient. Anyways, the point that I was trying to get at is in order for this high feature to help any small content creator, they have to be noticed to begin with by the algorithm, by other people. And although it's up to the creator to get the viewers engaged enough to want to, well, engage with the video, it's also up to YouTube and their algorithm to recommend the video to people who may actually be interested in the type of content you do. And lately, lately the algorithm has not been doing that job very freaking well. And I remember a day when that, when the algorithm did that job very well. So goddamn well, in fact, that I remember finding videos that I never thought I would ever be interested in. By creators I never thought I would find on topics I never ever thought I would find any interest in whatsoever. And I did. All because of how powerful the YouTube algorithm was. And now it feels like it's been nerfed to high hell. Though this is partially due to YouTube disabling the tag feature. Before anybody says, oh well hold on I've uploaded a video before and I just added tags to my video yesterday. The tag features work you just fine HK. No, theoretical viewer, no, it's not. Just because it's still available to you and you can still add tags to the text box does not mean it's still enabled and still works. It's not even connected to the algorithm anymore. Nobody's gonna find your video via those tags. I'm sorry, but you're wasting your time with those tags. But nonetheless, due to the tag feature basically being disabled or really disconnected from the algorithm now, it's harder to find videos you might like for your videos to get noticed as a small content creator. And on top of that, it also made search results go to shit. So if you ever wondered why search results on YouTube have been absolute dog shit lately, that's partially why. It isn't the primary reason, but it is a contributing factor. And I pretty much don't understand how a feature like this is even supposed to help me or content creators around my size at all when we're barely getting any engagement whatsoever, let alone noticed by people who might actually be interested when the algorithm doesn't do that job that well anymore. What is this supposed to do for me? What is this supposed to do for small content creators around my size? What is this supposed to do for the content creator that's starting their channel right now? I'm going to tell you what it's going to do for now. Jack and shit. And frankly, at this point, I wish YouTube would stop acting like they give a fuck about small content creators. Because they don't. They have been the biggest hindrance to small content creators' growth. More than anything, with their ass backwards decisions. That not only hurt small content creators, even though it hurts small content creators the most but all content creators, and in some cases, even having a negative effect on the average viewer that doesn't even make any content. Like, when you want to support your favorite content creator, buy the only free means you can. Engagement, and then YouTube goes deleting your likes, your dislikes, and your comments. For those of you who don't know, this is something that actually happens. I actually have a whole playlist of YouTube's issues from other content creators talking about all its various issues, including that. And hell, not to mention deleting subscriptions or just not notifying people of when their favorite content creators upload. Now granted, this may partially be on the viewers themselves who don't ring the bell notification icon. Creators are not just constantly telling you that for the sake of their health. They, if you want to get all notifications, you literally have to. You fucking have to. That's how the platform works. That's how the subscription button works now. Once upon a time, there was a day where the bell didn't exist for the subscription button. You just click subscribe and that was it. You got notifications for every fucking video. 
But nowadays, you really have to click that notification icon, the bell. And you have to click all notifications because clicking it isn't enough. They literally added a third step. Well, it was, it was added a long time ago, but still. They, they make it more unnecessarily complicated for the average viewer than it needs to be. And YouTube, to be honest, nowadays, the average viewer doesn't even want to engage on videos anymore. Not, not because they don't, they don't actually want to engage with the video, but because you just make it so much more annoying for them. With you constantly deleting videos and the, in the extreme censorship that even I, just going about my day as a viewer, don't even want to comment or like videos anymore. Because what's the, what, what's the fucking point if you're just going to fucking delete it or make me rewrite my comments? Every fucking time, no matter how much I censor myself, even if I say nothing wrong to upset filters, to break the rules, I, I literally don't even curse or insult anybody i could literally just be you know giving my opinion on a point and just i might just say you know oh i think that point's kind of stupid and here's the reason why i think it's kind of stupid i might not be insulting anybody i'm just giving my opinion but oh, oh, oh no i said stupid oh, oh no now my comments gotta be fucking deleted like just going about your day on youtube nowadays as an average viewer is starting to become more and more annoying with the censorship so I can only imagine how much harder it is for other content creators to grow when YouTube keeps annoying the average fucking viewer. Never mind the shit on top of all the stuff as small content creators out there, if any small content creators out there are watching this, have to deal with. Which, by the way, if there are any small content creators out there watching, please let me know what your opinion is on this feature in the comment section down below. I really am curious to hear your opinion. Um... Because all I see happening from this feature is I do think it's going to help some small content creators out there that have at least somewhat of a decent size and are getting somewhere that have some engagements. But I also think for small content creators like me that are barely getting any engagement at all, it's not going to do shit for us. It's not going to do shit for the guy starting this channel right now in his fucking bedroom. YouTube talking about it's going to be just like the LDs. No, it's not, dude. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking lying. J shut the fuck up, YouTube. Shut the fuck up. It'll never be like the LDs again because you completely fucked the platform. If you literally wanted to be like the old days YouTube, literally just undo your dumb fuck changes. That's it. But you're not. You're not going to do that. So stop fucking pretending like you care, dude. Fuck, stop pretending like you fucking care. And supposedly they did this in response to viewers out there that actually want to start supporting small content creators now. Where? Where? YouTube, where the fuck are these supposed viewers that want to help small content creators and support small content creators? Where the fuck are they at? Because I've never found a single fucking one of them in my comment section ever. My God, you couldn't be any more full of fucking shit unless it was literally pouring out of your mouth. You say that. But I still see, I do get small content creators in my feed every now and then still, as a viewer. But I see them grow so fucking slowly. My god, you can't be any more full of fucking shit. What viewers, YouTube? What viewers care, care about small content creators when so many of those viewers are the very first ones to gaslight the small content creators and say, oh, just make better thumbnails, just make better thumbnails. You grow if you make better thumbnails according to the fucking account that has no fucking videos on it. Go fuck yourself. There I go, going into my tangent that I said I wasn't going to do. But man, this high feature really isn't going to do shit for creators like me. And I've been on this platform for three plus fucking years now. Now, it's not like it's going to take forever for all content creators to grow. But if, if you're not covering a constant trending topic, you're shit out of luck. If you're not trying to become a commentary channel, which, you know, 
not knocking the people who do like to do commentary videos. I, I enjoy listening to a lot of commentaries. Um, you know, when I'm <laughs> doing some fucking chores, listen to it on the side like it's radio. But if you're literally not doing something trending or being a commentary channel, it's like you're shit out of fucking luck, dude. And I'm tired of it. And just to be clear, I've tried doing the whole trending topic scene before. It, it doesn't fucking work for me. I don't get nowhere. I've barely gotten any views before covering trending topics. And hell, if I ever do cover a topic that happens to be trending, it's only because I actually want to talk about it. Otherwise, I'm not even going to fucking bother. The more I use this platform, the more I just regret ever picking up this hobby. Which is why I'm going to start using it less and less and start using Rumble and BitChute more and more. In fact, it just, it's probably going to get to a point where I stop, stop uploading to YouTube completely. So I'm going to let it be known right now. And I'll probably do a short video saying this one last time later. But I'm letting any of my 145 subscribers know right now. If any of you out there right now are watching this video, are getting notified of this video, seeing it at all. I'm letting you know right the fuck now. Do not pop up out of nowhere talking about, oh, where you've been? How's the channel been? You stopped uploading for a bit. You're going to upload again? No. No, I'm ready to fucking dip off of this platform for good. And if you're truly that interested in any of my content, which according to my freaking analytics y'all are not i don't even know why the fuck y'all subscribe to me do yourselves a favor and unsub i'm not saying that to be an asshole save yourself the bloated notifications and unsubscribe to me and just to be clear i'm only talking about youtube shout out to those watching on bit Troop, rumble and odyssey i'm only talking to the youtube subscribers but to the YouTube subscribers, my 145 YouTube subscribers, if you're genuinely not interested in my content, please unsubscribe right now. I, I apologize for, for the noise. And the reason why I say to unsub is, and I'm going to say this with brutal honesty, your subscriptions mean nothing to me if you're not watching or engaging with the video. And again, I don't say that to be an asshole. Once you subscribe, that's it. It's just a borderline notification system for you guys. For me, once you subscribe, it provides me nothing. It brings me nothing. It does for me absolutely fucking nothing. The subscriptions are not for me, the content creator. They're for you, the viewer, to be notified because it's a notification system. So if you're not engaging with the video, watching with the video, giving your opinions, your subscription does nothing for me. Literally does nothing for me because it can't fucking do anything. It's just a fucking number. So if you're actually interested in anything I have to offer, go subscribe to me on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. If not, save yourself the notification blow up from my channel and unsubscribe. Go give your subscription, your subscription to a creator you actually like and support. And just don't waste your, don't waste your time with me. And before anybody says, oh, no, HK, I actually like your content. I actually want to sub or stay sub and, and, and watch and everything. Don't. Don't fucking bother and waste your fucking time. I don't want to upload here anymore. This may be my last video if I even feel like uploading my final three Battlefield Easter egg reaction videos. And that's a big if. Then after that, I might do a, sta a channel status report explaining the complications behind the scenes and why I'm going to stop uploading here altogether. And then that, that, that's it. 
I don't care if this fucking video somehow gets a hundred fucking comments and a thousand likes by tomorrow. I cannot fucking take it anymore. And the longer I use this platform, the more I regret picking up this hobby and the more I despise YouTube. Anyways, I guess I failed at not going into a whole tangent, and I guess I also failed at keeping this video short, but I don't fucking care anymore. Comment, rate if you want. I don't fucking care. I'm not going to be looking at the engagements on YouTube. All notifications are off for YouTube, except from, you know, creators I actually like to watch. Because I, I I just don't want any fucking false hope to draw me back in. So sometimes this this week or next week from when this video was uploaded, I'm either gonna upload my final video, being my channel status report to YouTube, or I'll at least finish up the battlefield easter egg reaction videos if i even feel like doing that and then that's it i'm off to rumble and bitch shoot for good for good i fucking hate this platform and at this point i think the average youtube audience and i don't care if y'all hate me you hate me for this i'm not gonna upload here anymore who cares your subscription is meaningless to me go fuck yourselves and I said average youtube audience so to the 145 of mine i'm not talking about y'all but still don't waste your fucking subscription with me anymore. I don't even know why the fuck y'all even subscribe to me. And be honest with me. If any of you are even getting my notifications at all, just let me know. I don't want you to stay subscribed. Don't waste your time. But I am genuinely curious. Did you ever get notifications from my video at all? At all? Ever? Since the day you subscribed? pick up this flipping hog dude. Maybe I won't fucking finish those bad food easter egg videos on YouTube. I need to get off of this fucking platform before it makes me give up this fucking hobby for good. HK out. Have a good one. And to all the small content creators out there, good luck. Go fuck yourself, YouTube.